my dear students in the previous sessions that means in my previous videos i uploaded the real numbers chapter for class 10 so in this session we will discuss another topic let's see you may observe uh, like uh, in the nature each and everything will be in some patterns for example like a honey bee it will arrange in a different pattern when it will be for watching it will looks very nicely uh, depending upon that arranging pattern and then uh, the petals of the sunflower so you may observe each and everything in the nature whatever we will see in our daily life each and everything will be in some way some pattern so uh, today we can discuss about if uh, based upon the first uh, first situation uh, how to find out the second situation for example uh, if this is a flower just it's a flower uh, just take it as a flower I was if one flower is there here next flower will be here and then what is the position of the third flower fourth flower you may getting my point like if we know the position of the one object we can able to find out the position of the second, third, fourth, etc. Position of that uh, things. So, let us uh, discuss about that topic. Like, that is called arithmetic program. See, let us discuss the arithmetic progression today. Arithmetic progression, it is nothing but just counting counting the uh, some approximate or accurate values of something by adding the common difference common difference means some fixed number for the proceeding content so let us see the definition for that an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers list of numbers in the beginning first a few numbers Three, four numbers uh, we may know. Numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a first fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. For example, I will give an example like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on. Now you know, first this is the first term, second term, this is the third term fourth term and fifth term and ask you find out the eighth term of this arithmetic pattern so here two is there four six seven eight first we have to know how they write the four six eight ten after the number two the number two here the first term in this progression that means arithmetic progression or a arithmetic pattern so how we write 4 just you do it 4 minus 2 2 6 minus 4 2 will come 8 minus 6 2 will come here 10 minus 8 2 will come just you have to make the difference between two consecutive numbers uh, either it may be addition or the like or the subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, square roots, cube roots, whatever it may be. Just you have to find out the uh, process. What is happening between the two consecutive terms. Then you have to find out the, uh, whatever the last like 8th, 7th term, which position. Uh, whichever, whatever the last you can able to find out if you know the proper reason proper relationship between the two consecutive terms so this is what today we are going to learn how to find out the new numbers from the existing patterns by adding the fixed number to the preceding terms except the first term first term means the beginning of this pattern 2 is the first term except these two Remaining all the two consecutive terms, we have to find out which operation, which is what processor is going on to represent the second term, third, fourth, fifth term. Then we can find out the another terms. 
clear so just uh, i'll give some examples to understand this so here before going to the problems just we have to know that how to find out the common difference i told you the common difference either you may do it by adding or subtracting or multiplying division square uh, squaring cubing whatever it may be just you have to know how the second term third term is existing depends upon the first term clear so here common difference how to find out the common difference means a n minus a n minus n for example i told you previously here just this is uh, some pattern having n number of terms in this arithmetic pro progression or the arithmetic pattern here this is a an just i am saying this is a uh, this is a, uh, n1 n2 n3 so on so this an i am taking as a 6 minus this one is 3 so like that uh, here doing the subtraction between the two consecutive terms so this is what to find out the common difference between the two consecutive terms in the given pattern so let us uh, another important formula this is a very basic formula how to find out the nth term of the given arithmetic progression or anything here a n means which number you are going to find out which term you are going to find out is equal to a plus of n minus 1 into d a in the sense that is the first term uh, and then n minus 1 whichever you are going to find out that is a n and then d is the common difference these are two important formulas if you want to find out the nth term of the given arithmetic pattern or the progression the common difference and then nth term formula make a screenshot of these two formulas or you can write it in your notebook see look at the problem here clearly they given whatever we want we need the first term and the common difference to write the pattern so according to this question we have to write one arithmetic progression or the arithmetic pattern uh, the taxi fare after each kilometer the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is 15 rupees for the first kilometer that means a is the first kilometer here first kilometer a that means 15 rupees per kilometer clear and then 8 rupees for each additional kilometer after the first kilometer if they'll uh, uh, go for another kilometer means just they have to add up 8 rupees for this 15 rupees clear so this common difference is 8 rupees so it's very easy first you have to write the 15 in the first term of your pattern and then just goes on adding 8 for the preceding term just i'll write a is equal to that means a1 i'll write 15 then a1 plus common difference d is equal to 8. That means 15 plus 8. How much? 23. So again the preceding term is 23. Again write it 8. Common difference. So how much it will come? 30. 31. Again 31 plus 8. How much? 39. So now you write the pattern. That is uh, 15 comma 23 comma 31 comma 39 is the this is the fare for each and every kilometer if you reach if you travel 4 kilometers in the sense you have to pay 39 rupees for the your fare pay clear so observe the problem the amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes 1 by 4th of the remaining, just the given the remaining, here they are not giving the first, like uh, how much of air is there inside the cylinder. Just assume, I will say the volume of the cylinder is 16 cm per cube. I will say, uh, the volume of cylinder, the volume of cylinder is 16 cm cube. I'll take. 
So what they are saying, each and every time they are going to remove 1 by 4th of its A, right? So, uh, in the first term, I am finding out the first term now. First term, they are given 16 centimeter cube of A is there. That is the first one. I mean, common difference, 1 by 4, they are uh, removing uh, each and every time. So, I will write it 16. So 16 centimeter initially 16 centimeter cube of air is there inside the cylinder. So each and every time they are going to remove the 1 by 4th of it. We have 4 fourths. So 4 centimeter cube of air they are going to remove. So first is 16 minus this 4 it will give 12 centimeter cube. So first term in the given pattern 16 again 12 it came and then again you do 1 by 4 3 again 3 centimeter cube now you remove from uh, 3 centi from 12 preceding term that one 3 is equal to 9 centimeter cube so third is 9 just is enough to write the pattern now look at the common difference between the two consecutive terms here 12 minus 16 how much minus 4 will come again 9 minus 12 minus 3 will come so here minus 4 doesn't equal to minus 3 so you can give the conclusion clearly according to this uh, situation we can't be able to write the arithmetic progression clear so this situation doesn't comes under the arithmetic progression So, it's very simple problem. Uh, the cost of a digging a well after every meter of digging, okay, when it costs 150 rupees for the first one meter of digging, that means A is equal to 150 rupees. And then they are giving rises by 50 rupees for each subsequent meter. That means the common difference D is equal to 50 50 rupees. If you know A and D, it's very easy to write the pattern. So, A is 150, right? So, just add up 50 rupees. That means 200. Again, add 50 for this. 250. Again, add. So, this is an arithmetic progression. Okay. Here, thank you. For the next session, we will go to learn how to find out the nth term of the given arithmetic progression.